Well, Hammerhead's head coach David Irving told me this week that this was the most talented team he'd ever coached. At the same time, his squad underachieved, just sneaking into the playoffs. But that's when something clicked tonight. The local boys down in Charleston taking on the battery for the USL Pro Championship. That prize right there wanted to raise the cup. After missing the majority of the past two games, Alex Horwath back in net for the Hammerheads. Hammerheads, not many opportunities in the first half. Just two. Garrett Evans with this one, not much on it. To the second half we go, Hammerheads on the attack. Mark Briggs, header just far side, still scoreless. Charleston now with the corner. Nick Patterson sends one to Amadou Sanye, near miss. Could have given him a one nothing lead, still scoreless. Charleston chance is coming in bunches. Tony Dollartelli goes left foot, almost beats Horwath, still scoreless. Charleston on the rush again. Jose Queros leaves to Michael Azaria in the 74th minute. Battery on top, one nothing. That goal would stand after four minutes of extra time. Charleston, they take title one to nothing. Bob Bonner is in Charleston and has more. After just a 2-6-4 and four road record during the regular season, the Wilmington Hammerheads looked like they had turned it all around in the second season. Two straight road wins to get to the championship in Charleston, but then all of a sudden, they ran out of paper. Three games have been Charlotte, Richmond, and, and Orlando have, have, have took a lot out of us. But uh, you know, I thought getting to the final, yet adrenaline would get us through. But uh, it wasn't enough. You know, without making excuses, Charleston are deserved winners. But I think we ran out of steam a little bit. I think it showed a bit today. To be honest, before the game, before we were going to get a result from this, um, I didn't think there was a team in the league that could beat us, um, especially after we played like we did in Orlando. Um, so I, I think the guys are just really gutted uh, that we didn't play as well as we can today. After the game, Gareth Evans may have summed it up best, saying, this really doesn't feel very good at all. We'll have to use the offseason to make sure it never happens again. We'll have to wait until next April to see if that rings true. With the Hammerheads in Charleston, Bob Bonner, WECT Sports.